In addition to special prosecutor Bob Mueller looking into potential collusion between the Trump campaign and members of foreign countries, there's also several different uh, organizations, or I should say House or Senate panels in DC also investigating the matter. One of those is the House Intelligence Committee. And earlier this week, Democratic Representative uh, Joaquin Castro said that he is ready to call Eric Trump to testify in front of his committee to find out what in the hell Eric knows about potential collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. Now, so far up to this point, everything is kind of focused on Donald Trump Jr. and Jared Kushner, who is Trump's son-in-law. Those seem to be the two guys making all of the stupid, horrible decisions that seem to be tanking the Trump administration right now. And Trump himself and Steve Bannon and other members in the White House have directly blamed Kushner for all of the problems. And they've even gone as far as to blame him uh, Kushner for the entire Mueller investigation to begin with. Trump Jr. we found out uh, hours ago had been DMing with WikiLeaks throughout the campaign, getting dirt. They were telling him things, giving him passwords to secure sites. But now Joaquin Castro thinks, you know what? This other Trump boy is being a little too quiet here. He's not making the headlines. He's not out on Twitter every day trying to say things or releasing documents. He seems to have a more level head about him. So maybe we can get a little information out of good old Eric there and see exactly what his brother, what his brother-in-law and what his father were up to during the campaign. And to be honest, probably see what Eric Trump himself was up to seeing as how his wife works on Donald Trump's actual presidential campaign. She's currently right now raising money for his 2020 presidential election bid. So Eric is right in the heart of the Trump administration, the Trump campaign, and yet he has virtually been unscathed up to this point. My prediction is that that is going to change once he has to go in front of a house intelligence committee and start talking. I mean, we do know that he has said himself during the uh, uh, economic downturn, the recession, um, that he didn't use American banks, he used Russian banks. He wanted to get money from overseas instead of working with the guys here. So that could potentially cause some problems for him down the road if Bob Mueller decides to look in that direction. I'm sure we can probably find some shady finance dealings in there, just like we could with Kushner and Trump Jr. and Ivanka herself, uh, based on reports coming out of New York City from Eric Schneiderman. But I don't think Eric Trump is clean in all this. I think he's got plenty of dirt on his hands from all of the dealings within the Trump campaign. And I am glad to see people like Joaquin Castro come out and say, we're going to ask him the tough questions. We're going to put him in front of the committee and we're going to do our best to finally get some clear answers as to who was working with what country and what person within that country to help get Donald Trump elected. If you're thinking about subscribing to our channel, I strongly encourage you to do that. But if you're not thinking about subscribing, I would encourage you to start thinking about it. And then once you're thinking about it, actually go and do it. You can see the subscribe button right there on the screen. Or if you're watching on a different platform, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire.